Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your doilies together um, for making a circlet or um, like a table runner. Uh, before I do that, I want to show you some dragon colors that I have um, made here. And these are the different um, 8-0 seed bead colors that I used. And I will be showing you how to connect them together with these two larger doilies so that you can more easily see what I am doing. Now there's two ways to connect your doilies. One is with the straight side, which there are six on each doily. And the other is with what I would call the point side. And there are also six on each doily and you would connect them point to point. In this video, we are going to work with the point side and then I'll be putting up a second video with the straight side. Now before we begin, I'm gonna show you some ideas for connecting with the point side. Now for a circle, what I recommend is that you put one in the center and then if you want to have them all facing outwards, you would line it up with the center one. And then you would take the next one and line it up with the center one. And then you would know they connect here. And you do the same thing with the next one. And then you would connect it along this side. And then the next one and you connect it and then the next one and then you connect it here and then you would take the last one and fit it into the circle connecting it here and here and then you'd have a circle with a space in the center in which you could put something. Um, another thing you can do is if you want to make a runner you could line them up with the points at kind of an angle and you could also do it so that they're facing each different direction and they would be at kind of an angle and that you just keep adding them doing it the opposite depending on how you chose Let's see this way you match up every other one to um, look the way you want it to so you would turn it so that it matches and that you can make a table runner. Um, for a semi-circle you could match up three like this doing point to point and then you'd be able to put it up against like a wall or something and be able to put something right in that small area that's left. So those are some different ways that you can set up your doilies hooking them to the points. Now I will show you how to hook the points together. So we'll take these two and we will put them head to head like this with our points. And then we'll take our string and we'll go through one of the points that we want to connect. And then we can add a bead. Now you can do this many different ways. You can add one bead, which is what I'm going to do in this video. You can also add one bead and a special bead. You just don't want it to be too wide that it'll hit each other, but you could hit, you'd do a special bead and then another of your regular beads and that would be three beads in between and you could also do just two beads regular um, so there's many choices in what you do between but then you would do it the same each time whatever you chose to be your little design in the um, center there. But I am just going to show you by adding one bead. Then you would go through the point bead on the other doily and you want to make sure 
that your bead is in between with the string coming out the same side. Then we will add another bead. And now I like knots, so I am going to tie a knot, but as I am doing the one needle, I want one string to be short and the other string to be longer. Doesn't really matter which one it is. So you would tie your knot with the fishing line, uh, monofilament line. I do a regular knot followed by a double overhand. With the microfilament, which is more like thread, I just do a regular double knot. Then I stick my knot inside of one of the beads. Really doesn't matter which bead you stick it inside of. Now, our working string is on this side, so we're going to follow the side of our doily until we get to the next point bead. So we just go through each bead along the edge of our doily. Now here I'm using about a foot of string. Um, most of the time, if you're just using one on each, that will be plenty. But um, if you're gonna do a design, you might need to use a little bit more string. All right, so now I'm gonna add one bead to my string. Then, you see my bead string is coming out this way, so I'm going to go the opposite direction. So my string is coming out the opposite side on the other point bead. Then we will add a bead. And then we'll go through the first point bead towards our first bead we added. And there we have connected the second point. Now again we follow along until we get to the point bead. And then we add a bead. And we go through the point bead on the opposite one. Remember, our string is coming out this direction, so we want to go through this way so that our bead is right there in between the two beads. And then we take another bead and we go through the point, first point bead again. And there we have our two doilies connected. Now what I didn't show you and I thought to show you earlier, but I'll show you now, is if you want extra strength in this area, is just go around your point bead um, setup one more time. And that will give you extra strength in the holding of the two doilies together. So if you want to just go around each one a second time and that will give extra strength to the connection. And then um, here I can't tie it so here I just thread um, away about three circles and then I head back and that gives it sort of a figure eight. You want to weave back and forth and then when you come back it'll be like figure eight and that will um, hold your string so that it doesn't come undone. And then of course the first one is knotted so all you need to do is hide your string um, a couple circles away from where the knot is and then snip off the excess. I don't like to snip it off right where the knot is in case it were to come undone. Okay, we've gone about three, so now we will weave back and that'll give it a kind of knotting in the shape of a figure eight. Now if you have beads with larger holes, this won't work as well. Um, 
I don't know any other uh, securing step so hopefully if you're a seasoned beater you have um, but if you're using seed beads this should work just fine because the seed beads the holes are not too large but as just about any bead can be used with these doilies um, some will have large holes and you're going to want to make sure that the string is secure before clipping it off so that is how you connect your points on the large doilies there will be five points this is a small doily as you can see um, so it only has three points. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions please uh, post and I'll be sure to get back to you. Happy beading!